Body Android Doctor back again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the Motorola Moto G's bootloader. So it's real simple to do. I'm going to take you through the process real quick. So what you need to do is, first thing, you'll need to go into your settings on your phone. Go to About Phone. And where it says Build Number, just keep tapping that until it says you are now a developer. Now it should have unlocked the developer options, so just select that. And where it says developer options there, make sure that's turned on. And where it says USB debugging, make sure the box is ticked. Then you can put your phone down. The next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go to the Motorola website. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. This is where you unlock the, this is where you get your ID, device ID code and unlock code so that you can unlock your bootloader. So, once you open up the website, this is how it should look. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to install the Android SDK. You can download it from here. And you can all number two, you'll need to install the Motorola USB drivers onto your desktop. You can download it from here also. So I've already done that. So this is how it should look once you've downloaded and installed them both. You should have this. Motorola USB device icon just tap on that and then select yes to install and you should also have the ADB tools folder that's how it should look Okay, so next you'll need to get your device ID. So put your device in fast boot mode, power off, and then press the power and the volume down buttons simultaneously. So let's just do that real quick. So hold the power button, turn it off. So you're gonna hold the volume down button and the power button for about three seconds and as you can see it's now gone into fast boot mode okay so number two on your desktop open a command prompt or terminal and go to the directory where you installed your SDK tools so like I told you I've installed my SDK tools onto my desktop, so go to wherever you've installed it. But before you go to that, hold on. Before you go to it, you'll need to copy this. Fast boot. OEM get unlocked data. So go to ADB tools. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna hold shift and then right click on your mouse. So hold on, let me just put the camera down. So you're gonna hold shift and right click and then open command window here and you should get a little black box like this then connect your phone to the USB cable I'm going to do that real quick So once it's connected, it should make a sound just to let you know that it's connected and it should also say USB connected right there. Now we're just going to copy and paste 
get OE EM unlock code into here. Fastboot OEM get unlock data. Then hit enter. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to copy all of this, all five rows. Don't copy this, don't copy bootloader, just copy from here to here. So just right click on there, select mark. and then hit enter. Then go back to here. Scroll down where it says, can my device be unlocked? Let me just delete this code because I've already done this before. Where it says, can my device be unlocked? Just paste that code into there. So that's the code. Make sure there's no gaps. No spaces. Then hit, can my device be unlocked? Then down here, Select I agree, then hit request unlock key. Then it should say, unless you have a developer edition device, this will void your warranty. Are you sure? Select OK. So now it says you will receive an email. Hold on. You should now receive an email to your email address, um, what you use to sign in with to the Motorola website. Um, you should receive an email with the unlock code to that website. I mean to that email address, sorry. Now the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go to your email address, get the unlock code, copy and paste it. You'll need to right click it, copy it, and then you'll need to go to Okay, so once you get the unlock code, you'll need to copy and paste it. So just right click it, press copy. And then you need to follow the link here to unlock your bootloader. So select that. Then you'll need to sign back in with your Google Plus. Make sure your device is, t it says turn off your device, start your device in fast boot mode. I didn't unplug mine. I've still left mine connected in fast boot mode. So I'm, I'm just going to go straight to 
number six, verify that the desktop and device are connected by entering the following in the command field, fast boot devices. So we're going to go back to the command prompt and just type in fast boot devices. And then hit enter. Go back to the instructions. Well done. You should see that your device is connected. USB connected, there it is. Now to unlock the bootloader, enter the following in the command line. So, we're going to type in fastboot OEM unlock. So, fastboot. Space OEM. Space on lock. Space again. And paste the code into there. Then hit enter. Because I've already unlocked mine, it's failed. As you can see, it says device already unlocked, but yours should unlock and then the phone should reboot. Bear in mind that this, once you've done it, it's going to wipe your phone clean, all data and everything. So make sure you back everything up before you do all this. But yeah, that's how you unlock the bootloader on the Motorola Moto G. Um, another thing is I'm going to say to you, when you try to get the unlock code, if... It does um, say that you can't unlock it or something like that. If it, if you get a message saying that it can't be unlocked, um, don't pay that no mind because you do get that message sometimes. Just simply write down this code and use your tablet. Sign into the Motorola website on your tablet and um, get the unlock code from your tablet. So, yeah. Or you can use your phone as well, it doesn't have to be a tablet. But yeah, that's how you unlock the bootloader on the Motorola Moto G. Um, sorry about the video, guys. If I made it sound a bit difficult or whatever, it's because I'm only using one hand to do all this. So yeah, that's it for the video. Be sure to um, follow my step two video, which will show you how to root the phone and install um, a custom recovery. So yeah, that's it. I'm out.